Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video well I'm just going to remind you the three books that are on sale drink tea and read the paper if you're a green belt and a black belt and you want simple instruction on how to apply your skill design of experiments for 21st century engineers and finally a statistical process control for small batch production. They are all available from lulu.com and the links are in the video below. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's newsletter is how to make 5S make money. So let's get this up here. 5S makes money. Most important, we need to get away from the thought that 5S is somehow about housekeeping. Uh, we've reached this point where everybody thinks that 5S is housekeeping. That's a chore when really it should be a joy and it should make money. It should be one of the most important things you do in your company. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the, is the five S's themselves. Um, so what have we got? Sort, set in order, shine, yuck. Come back to that one. Uh, shine, Standardize. Sustain. Okay, now five S's, the five steps. Really, this is simply a process. And what I want you to really get away from, get away from the idea of five S, get away from calling it five S. Get something else in your mind. Because what are these five steps designed to do? They are designed to deliver something called workplace organization in other words they are designed to make your workplaces faster and easier to work yeah they are designed to take away frustration and make work easy and if you do that you make piles and piles of money with five S. So that's the first thing to say. Let's get away from this and call it uh, workplace organization. Now, if it's workplace organization, what am I focused on? I'm focused more, as I say, speed. Three things. Speed. Space. Quality. And when you set out on a 5S event, I wouldn't call it a 5S event, I'd call it a workplace organisation event, call it a Kaizen event. Just say this is the process we're going to use to achieve it. You should have either one, two or all three of these things in mind and you should tell your, your work teams this is what you're trying to achieve and let them change their workspace in order to work faster, in order to work in less space, make more money out of the same footprint or in order to get quality right so that they do the job right first time. And in order to do that, what are you basically doing? The aim of workplace organization is to visualize that process, visualize the standards and ultimately visualize abnormalities. That's what 5S does. You visualize the process. You make sure that you've got the fastest, smallest space and the best quality in your workspace. So, let's get away from tidying up because this is where everybody gets stuck. Everybody does these two steps and then of course what do you do? You go shine, 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 shine. I said I'd come back to this. I'd love to take away shine and replace it with the word maintenance because that's what this step is about. It's about maintaining the condition 
of the fastest, highest quality workspace. It's about maintenance. Now, we're gonna get away from the idea of tidying up, because everybody gets stuck at step three. It would be great if we took away the word sustain and we replaced it with the phrase continuous improvement. Now, of course, these don't start with an S, do they? So, of course, they weren't on the list for words to be used, but this is what the Japanese meant. Yeah, we're going to take a look at a video in a minute. If you've never looked at a gentleman by the name of Paul, Acres. Paul runs a company called Fast Cap. You can look this guy up. He has a YouTube channel. Look him up on YouTube. Paul likes to talk about simplicity, making the job easy for all his uh, workforce. But um, what he does is he visualizes the he visualizes the process. And he constantly works on continuous improvement using essentially 5S, he calls them case and events. But if you watch what he's doing, he's changing the workplace organization and his 5S makes him pots and pots of money. And what's he basically trying to do? Well, he's not trying to get in the way of his people by making them clean up all the while. What he's doing is he's working with this great principle, which is at, a point of activity, at the point of activity. And if you use that principle and you make sure you put everything your workforce needs at the point of activity, what do they need? Tools, material, information, maybe signals to replenish, um, standard operating procedures, maybe. All of these things, based on their frequency of use, by the way, the things that you need every day should be at the point of activity. And when you do that often, actually, you don't have a tidy workplace because all of this stuff is out, all of this stuff is visible. It's visual, and then we get speed, we get reduced space, and we get improved quality. And if you do that, 5S makes money. Let's take a look at a video. Paul Akers and his team from FastCap. Let me show you what they're doing. There is not a brush or a broom or cleaning in sight. Take a look at this video. Welcome to FastCap. We're gonna teach you Kaizen fast cap style. Kaizen simply means to improve. We learned it from Toyota and we're grateful for all that Toyota's taught us. We've learned amazing things, creating a culture of continuous improvement. And we're gonna go right to our shop floor. This is the real deal and see what we do and how we improve our processes. So come along, you're gonna love this. Hey Megan, what are you doing? I'm putting together the new two p solo kits. Yeah, I know that old bag. This is the old way we were doing it, it's terrible. So this is going to look a lot nicer. We have the sleeve. Yeah, the sleeve helps everything stay contained so it's not rolling around in the bag. And That looks good. Have we got a time on this yet? we figured it out? No, we haven't. We're figuring 25 cents a minute for us to do it. So anything under three minutes, we're in good shape. So let's see what kind of time we're getting on this one to do it. Right, and that let's... took even longer than before because I accidentally hit the cool button on there. Oh, okay. Because well, I'm having to hold happened. it. And... Let's... Andre, can you get me a timer? Okay, Megan, let's go ahead and do it. All, All right. right. Let's go ahead and time this, and let's see if we can get this down a lot faster. Okay, let's go do ahead. It. Okay. So we're going to put this on, and we're going to be looking as we're doing this. What's taking all the time? That's the big question we want to ask. So right now, boy, that's a pain dealing with those sleeves, isn't it? It is. They like to get caught on everything. They get caught on the straws right, all the right, time. Right, right, right. Or the insert falls out the bottom, and then you're putting the bottle in like that. Right. Okay. I have to make sure the insert doesn't cover the glue now because right, it was right. covering it for the longest time. And then you put the heat gun on there. And I turn it so I try to get even heat amongst the entire Right, that's suite. what this table's for. Yeah. So we kind of built the table anticipating we're going to start heat gunning these on. Right. Okay, done. What kind of time? 
45 seconds. Okay. Okay. So let's here we look go. at this so we've right got now. our glue here. We've got our cans here. And we've got that there. So now you're not going to go down below. Awesome. Except okay. For Except for the gun. All I need to grab is my heat gun. Okay. So which, let's go ahead and try that which now. Which is good. All right. Let's, let's do one real quick. Okay. Ready? Yep. That, you got that, so it's still... It's nice. I'm not reaching down anymore. No, that's good. It's right in front of you, and you know what inventory you have. You're not having to look down exactly. to figure out what you're running out. But there's still that fumbling on the top. This is Man. really becoming you know an what? issue. I think... Go ahead and just do it. Let's get a time on this and see whether or not we save any time of moving it. Okay. What's our time now? 35 seconds. For 10 seconds, the gun, the gun up, okay? Pretend to hold Yeah, he's going to hold the gun, so you don't even have to mess with the gun. Awesome. And then what if we put a foot pedal where you press on the gun with a foot pedal to make that it turn sounds on? Like an awesome idea. So now we both got your a hands foot pedal. are free. Okay. Got a foot pedal? I've got okay. a foot pedal. Foot pedal's in. We're going to put a foot pedal on there. Awesome. This is so cool. we're Obviously already be saving money. Tons, tons okay? of money. But now we want to make it so easy. When you walk over here, you say, oh, this is a piece of cake, instead of, i got to fumble with those stupid things. That's what we want to exactly. get away Exactly. Exactly. Okay, Andre, are you ready? You're messing around over there. Okay, no messing ready. around, buddy. Ready to go. This is serious. Go. Okay. Okay. So I said I was going to put these on first. Okay. Then the sleeve goes in, and we're trying to get that sleeve upright now, because before we had it the other way. Upright. And you pull that to the side. And I pull That's it to cool. the side, and it holds the sleeve so it doesn't move. Nice, nice, so do that. nice. You grab that. And then... Hit the foot pedal. That's on. Now both your hands are free, which is kind of nice. Yeah. So I can move it around. Okay, that's so, good. What's your time? 30 seconds. Saved another five seconds. Kill another it. five Just seconds. Just by moving things around. Okay, what's what next? What if we put a cone over it so you She's not fumbling with going over the top. Okay, let's get a cone. Let's try it. Get a cone. Do we have a cone? That one. Here, right here. You got a cone there? Okay, let's try this. Awesome. All right, let's do it again. Okay, so I'll that's put the cone on first. Side, you want to go to that side? So I'll switch places. It's a great Andre, idea. You go over there. It's a great idea. Now, this is incredible how we're just taking this thing down to nothing this so quickly. Awesome. You got the foot pedal? Good? Okay, All right. good. I think we're All good. Right, let's rock and roll. Okay. okay, here's the point. Every time you do something, this job is broke up into different elements. Grabbing this, grabbing this, getting the can, getting the glue, heating it. Those are all different components. What we want to do is get this down to maybe around 20 seconds. That's our goal. All right. But the way we do that is we just take one second off of every process. Rather than try to get one thing all the time out of one, if we just make one second out of every step, we can get the time so we need. it moves that makes sense? now. And now and we really we don't, don't need, need it to it. move anymore, We need right? something that doesn't So move. what's the next step? We need a solid station okay. to build these. So let's go ahead and build a solid station and come back to this right now, okay? All right, all right. let's do it. Great, let's go. Okay, we're back with Megan and Andre, and they built the new station. We're going to check out what they've done and see if it's faster than the old rotating one that moved around. Okay, what have we done, you guys? We made a hole right there to hold the gun, so I don't have to hold it anymore. This is cool. So it's just down and dirty, just Regular OSB. plywood, scrap wood. Right. Um, our shelving, our racking system, so everything's just down and dirty, our easy. Our braces. Good. A uh, shelf for inventory. And we got it the height that Megan wanted it. That's right. Right, okay. <laughs> Another thing we did is instead of restacking everything into POPs, like okay. we, dig, we made places for original boxes that we just cut open and they're right there, ready wow. to Wow, I like this, Andre, because now you can actually see the levels in here. So very simple. We even canned it back and we even used our own glue to can it back. Again, down and dirty is the number one thing we want to do here. Hey, could you tell that guy to be quiet? Run in there quick, Graham. Anyways, the number one thing is down and dirty. We want to be able to use the things we have right there on the spot and solve the problems. We do not want to go do a big, heavy, sophisticated operation to see if something works. Cardboard, tilting it with our own glue bottles. That's the name of the game. What else have we done? We put a PVC pipe around the heat gun because when I was reaching for the glue to add it into wow. the kit, I was afraid of being burnt. But Good now, idea. it doesn't matter how many times I brush up against this, and no matter how hot Not it is, I scored. won't get All right. Okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's see what happens. Okay, we ready? Okay, yep. here we go. Here we go. Cone goes on, sleeve goes in. So still a little fumble there, but much better. Yeah. Definitely much better. And of course, you're just getting warmed up here with the new station. Just getting that better. Goes in there. That's good. Move and then we got over. our foot pedal down below. Doing that, both hands are free. That's a really nice feature. 
Okay, we're done. What's our time? 19 seconds. Not bad. So we're about where we were. Let's see if we can improve it. So, so can we... a great example there from Fast Cap. And you'll notice at no point was there any shine in that. Everything he was doing was workplace organization. They were designing a process. They were making it easy and as fast. No money was spent in what they were doing. It was all very simple. They were just organizing where the materials should go, how the bench should be laid out. They were using cardboard for, for storing the materials, sticky back plastic, cheap and easy to change. So if they made a mistake or they came up with a better way and they discarded something, nothing cost them any money. You just do continuous improvement. You can just do continuous improvement like that, simple and easy. And that's really what 5S is all about. What they were doing mostly there, by the way, was set in order. Most of what they were doing was workplace organisation. It was set in order. Um, finally, just to make the point that 5S makes money, that 5S is definitely not about housekeeping, let me just show you the example that Paul gives us about the design of his airline ticket. And when you see this, you will see the airline ticket. They sort, they get rid of the crap off the airline ticket. They set in order and they standardise the airline ticket. And it just gets rid of all the crap and suddenly we start to get quality. They could probably make the ticket smaller actually as well. But let me show you Paul and his airline ticket. Complicated. So complicated. To illustrate, here you go. As I told you, I fly all over the world. I'm always somewhere. Got this airline ticket from Delta Airlines a while back, and I looked at it, I go, wow, where am I supposed to be? What gate? What time? When's it board? I'm like, look at that. I go, this is crazy. This is a billion dollar company. I've got three or four different fonts going on. Things are not lining up. What a nightmare. How in the world can anybody read that ticket? Now, I want you to know that millions of customers all day long are tortured by this nonsense. This is happening everywhere. Yeah, I've for taught sure. them not to settle for anything, but to continuously improve everything. And I gave this ticket to my daughter, who's 20 years old, graphic designer, junior college, and I gave it to my 25-year-old graphic designer at my, at my work. I said, could you create me a lean airline ticket? 10 minutes later, you ready? 10 minutes later, a billion dollar company or a 25 year old and a 20 year old? 10 minutes later, hello? Now come on, think about that. Could it be any more simple? Visual controls, I'm going from Seattle to JFK. There's absolute total clarity. I could never screw this up. Any ticket that's ever handed to me, I know where I'm going. And the gate, what gate am I supposed to be at? There's a picture of a gate. Right? And what time's the plane leave? 3.15. Now, a billion dollar company, you'd think they could figure this out. This is lean. This is making everything simple. Work should be so easy. Work at our company is easy. When people walk in, they always say, how come your people are so happy? Now, that was an airline ticket. But that was 5S. It was workplace organization. He organized the ticket properly. He looked, he put the right information. Yeah, he put the right information at the point of activity. What did he do? He visualized it, made it easy to see, easy to understand. That's what 5S is about. When you get new people, new people into these workplaces that are easy to see and everything's visual, Training is like five minutes. It saves you fortunes. 5S makes you money. That's what it should do. Let's get away from this stupidity of 5S being about cleaning up and let's make 5S make money in your company. If you don't know how to do this, drop me a line and I'm here to show you how. I hope to speak to you soon.